Hi, welcome back to Katagania Arts, Crafts and Self. So after opening my Happy Mail from Wise Old Owl, in which Rachel had had um, placed 18 bottles of mixed acrylic paints, and when I spoke to her, she after, just after releasing the Happy Mail video, she actually said yes, it was a a deliberate act placing in the flesh coloured paint so thanks again very much Rachel it's very much appreciated and we'll see what comes from my creations with that so what I have here is two pieces of A5 cardstock ones that you would use for making birthday cards etc but for this use I think they will work really really good to create a swatch sheet of the acrylic paints I've got now please disregard my filthy gel plate there I do clean it later but at this time it has dried paint which it was very naughty of me but sometimes life gets in the way so with these particular Americana craft paints acrylic paints please make sure you shake them shake them shake them because what they do with a lot of these paints is they place a, a mixture that needs to be mixed in with the pigment to allow you to use it and sometimes and you'll see as I'm using them you'll see the gel like product that will actually come out when you haven't shaken it properly so I'm now just remembering I should grab myself some water so a little glass jar is what I'll use add some water which I always have on my desk in a big Tupperware jug just so I've always got clean water on hand so I'll keep my brush clean and I will grab some paper towel to dry off and remove any extra pigmentation that's still in the brush that way you don't have to use half a dozen brushes for this type of project so I'm just randomly or not so randomly picking up some colors one sheet I will place the flesh um, colors what I class as flesh colors and and to be honest some of the others can be used also I'm just kind of splitting it up so that I have a couple of swatch sheets that means I can grab this slot and use them for face drawings etc so I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit as this will get rather monotonous and I will be back with you shortly And here with the green you can actually see what I was meaning by that gel medium or medium that they place in with the paints it comes up very translucent and is doesn't give a clear representation of exactly what the paint actually does so I will probably redo that particular swatch at a further date once that's dried properly so now I'm actually grabbing my archival pen that I use and just writing the names of the colors and the brand names so that I can when I've done a few more swatch sheets of other products I know which one actually gave me which color tone so what I've also done is done a randomly sketchy square around each of the colors that I've placed on the card and as it grows it actually looks quite well here's another one of those paints that I didn't shake correctly and you've and it's got a hor horrible clear tone and sometimes it is a translucent paint but that particular one I don't feel actually was and a lot of the reds probably are the most guilty of not being able to mix correctly but just give it a really good shake and just try it if there's any clear runny gel like substance come out when you squeeze it it's not an issue with the paint it just means that you need to give it a, a bigger shake to actually get the pigmentation all mixed through and not sitting at the bottom which is what it does when paints have been sitting around for a while so thanks for returning to Katagania I hope you enjoy my videos and 
if you do please hit the subscribe button and come back and visit me again soon